two, one, go. Hey guys, I'm Shanko from Joe Bloke Reviews, and I'm here to test out the Hand Presser Wild Hybrid. Um, this is an espresso maker um, for when you're out on the go. It's portable, so it's useful for if you're camping, um, hiking, picnicking, or if you're in the office and you're not allowed to have like a, a brewing machine. I think this thing is supposed to cover that. So basically, um, it's very simple to use from my understanding, which I've been using. Uh, it's got an inbuilt gauge, pressure gauge, for you to check uh, how much pressure you have, and it can take up to 16 bars. Very easy to pump up as well, and the machine has an option to pre-pump, which is what's recommended if you do. So basically, to start pumping or pre-pumping the machine, you twist the handle, pull it out, and it just works like a bicycle pump. And you got to make sure you get it up to the green point, which is where you get your perfect espresso. So, so we've got a few more pumps. There we go. So and you'll see that there's a green and a red zone. The red zone is means it's been over pumped and over pressurized, and you never go into that red zone because it could essentially damage uh, the machine as well. Would warranty. Second thing you want to make sure that you do when you pump the machine is make sure this lever has been pushed down uh, when you, otherwise all that pressure is just going to escape and you won't be able to pump the machine up at all. So having said that we'll put that down and I'm going to begin pre-warming the espresso machine which is what is also is recommended to be done and I think it's just better anyway if you do pre-warm it because it keeps the espresso nice and hot. As it comes out, thumbs down, and just seal it up. And this is your ground coffee uh, filter. And so this is what you put pre-ground coffee into. You can, if you have a grinding machine, you can bring coffee beans out with you into the wild and do it. But me, I just wanted to save a bit of weight, so I decided to pre-grind the coffee. And I think it takes about close to seven grams untamped, but about 10-ish, 12 grams if you tamp it up. And I like to tamp it up nice and tight because it compacts the coffee and brings out a nice crema right at the end. Now, if you're short on a tamp, um, the Wild Hybrid's handle acts as a little tamp as well. So what you gotta do is basically bring it out, push it in, and that's it. Pack some more coffee into that. The last time you can just do lightly with the spoon and make sure you get that excess off now keep that aside don't need this anymore now the machine would have been warmed up so just pour that water out or keep it for cleaning if you want to be a bit resourceful which I have not been at the moment apologize for that oh sorry now before you put the ground coffee in, add the hot water up until this mark, which you'll see, yep, just right up to there. Because that is where the ground coffee pod, the filter will sit. Pop it right in, and of course we've got the pressure pumped up. Seal it, and you flip it over, and push the pressure release valve and there you go got a nice hot espresso brewing now if you're like me and you like a nice bit of milk um, an option to carry is some milk powder and just use some hot water mix it in and you got a nice latte going on for you as well but if you like a nice black coffee, this is a good way to do it. As you can see, the crema builds up nicely. When you're done, you just push the pressure release valve back up, and it releases the excess pressure that's in the machine. And that's the end product. Obviously, it's not going to be as good as a $2,000 espresso machine. However, for the situation that you're in in the wild, uh, just having a decent cup of coffee is pretty much... It's a really good job.
can is currently one of the best machines out on the market as well for its price and value. Um, this is rated at about, well, it's going for around about 120 to about 130 dollars Australian, about 100 US. So keep your eyes out on the market for the hand presser wild hybrid. Oh, and the reason it's called a hybrid is because it can use ground coffee as well as ESC coffee pods. So that's another option for you if you want to go ultra light bait. So catch you guys later. I'm just let me enjoy my cup of coffee now. It's pretty good.